Hi everyone, I'm DJ Cole. I'm here at the industrial wireless booth at Cisco Live 2025. Uh, one of the cool new things that we're talking about this year is the introduction of URWB as a technology into the Cisco wireless platform and configured by the 9800 controller. So in the past, you had to have standalone devices to run URWB, which means if you wanted to run both URWB and Wi-Fi, you had to deploy two separate infrastructures. Now that we're integrating that technology into the controller, not only do you get the management experience of having it in the controller, but you're also able to use a single AP, uh, like this one, a 9178, to do both Wi-Fi and Curb at the same time. That way you can serve Wi-Fi clients and you can serve your WB clients, all with the same common infrastructure. You know, reduces the number of APs you have, also reduces the administrative overhead that you have trying to do that. Um, uh, here on the table, we're actually demoing that. So here we have a 9165E access point. Uh, we've kind of assembled a little bit of a mock-up, right? So this kind of resembles a uh, wireless control system. So you know, blinking green light, that means we're good. If we, we lose that signal, that's you can sort of you know, imagine that if this was a robot and it lost that enable signal, it would stop and then you know, your production environment you know, might go down until you get your wireless fixed. So kind of demoing that here. The 9165 has two radios in it. We're doing one five gig, one six gig radio. So part of that cool new announcement of having URWB into our 9800 and um, APs that support LPI six gigahertz is now we're able to utilize that six gigahertz with LPI for our URWB network. Um, so you know, right now these, since they're right next to this AP, they're just talking directly to this AP, but we actually have a network around the showcase where we're able to, you're able to take one of these, walk around and actually experience that you know, doing that handoff between multiple APs. You can sort of see that here on the map, right? We have a number of APs distributed around the uh, showcase. And if you were to take one of these, the client will actually move between that. So when we log into the controller, this is what you actually get. So first off, you see not only do you have the access points listed here, right? So those are these APs that we had scattered around the showcase floor. But you also get the clients, uh, which is uh, sort of a cool new thing as part of this, you know, part of this evolution of having your WB in the controller is not only do you have the APs managed, but you also have the clients, right, that you're extending your network to. Those are also managed by the controller. So if, you know, in the past you may have used like Workgroup Bridge where you had completely, you know, separate management of your client device, um, this is a, a big improvement on that because now you still have that common management platform to manage those client devices. Um, you know, if we were to click on one of these devices, uh, we see actually we get a new URWB tab. Um, oh, I'm in configure right now, but if I go over to monitoring, you're actually able to see some information on the URWB network. So over here in the monitoring tab, you actually see some of that URWB configuration. We see the interfaces, frequencies were configured for, and we see that we have both that five gig and six gig frequency listed there. Back at this screen, we're actually able to dig into some of that, those wireless KPIs. So if I were to take one of this, these clients, like client A here, and scroll down and click on it, uh, we're actually able to pick up some of that out of the way. Uh, uh, clicking in on this client, we're actually able to get some of those link metrics. And we can see here all those signals that we're getting from the different APs. And right now here, you can actually see that it's actually connected to that AP1. That's the one that's on our demo kiosk right there. So once you go ahead and actually configure it in the controller, the configuration flow is, is sort of what you'd expect from an AP, but with some additional elements added in for the URWB. So as part of that configuration flow on the controller, we introduced a new URWB profile. That sort of is the profile that establishes sort of the base of your URWB network. Um, we added some extensions to the radio profile. So in the past, the radio profile um, was you know, just exclusively pretty much for Wi-Fi because that's what was in the controller. Uh, now we added a URWB tab on the radio profile that gives you some settings over like frequency, bandwidth, uh, things like that. Um, and then both of those are combined into the RF tag. So the RF tag has been extended to include a URWB profile, uh, and then you would select the radio profile with the URWB, uh, you know, you'd, you'd select the radio profile that has URWB enabled on it um, into the slots of the AP that you want to dedicate to URWB. Uh, and then all of those get pushed to the AP, and that's how you actually enable URWB. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, you know, once you're kind of used to it, takes about three to five minutes to deploy a simple URWB network. So that's pretty much the summary of the URWB kind of enhancements that we're uh, talking about in terms of software. We also have some hardware enhancements over here. 
Uh, so earlier this year, we announced the Haslock version of the 9167 started shipping. Uh, we're also now coming to a point to start shipping the power supply, right? So uh, most Haslock customers need both the power supply and the uh, AP to go together. We're happy to say that pretty soon we'll start shipping that. Uh, this here is just sort of a mock-up of what that looks like for an install. Um, uh, each customer can kind of choose their own installation environment, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what that would look like installed out in the field. Uh, with that, that's pretty much all that we have to talk about here at the uh, Industrial Wireless booth. Thank you so much for uh, watching, and I'll see you next time.